Coast Guard heard from families and community members speaking out now about the impact of this ruling today. He's joining us live from a neighborhood uh, center in southwest Houston where people are getting guidance about this. Ryan. Bill, some people tell me they're not sure of what to do about this. They say in the morning when everybody and their family goes off to work, they're not sure that they will return home at night. Others say this is the right decision. The split decision today in the U.S. Supreme Court impacts an estimated 200,000 Houstonians. That's tens of thousands of families. My family and I are undocumented. Jessica Huerta says her parents walked to work instead of driving, fearful of being stopped and deported. Instead of being scared on the streets, being scared of driving and the fear of I might not see my parents again, you know, because they live for work, but I know they left, but I don't think they're going to come back to my house. The Houston Immigration Legal Services Collaborative says an affirmative ruling on the case could have decided the fate of two programs that would have brought hope to more than three and a half million undocumented people living in the U.S. This is a pause, and um, this, this puts people's lives on hold, this creates problems, but the truth is that everybody gets up and wants the same thing. The Supreme Court's four to four vote stopped the president's orders to expand two deferred action programs. The lower court's decision stands that stopped the expansion. The Harris County Republican chair says this is the right decision. You know, the Democrat solution when they don't get their ways to see in Congress right now is to throw a tantrum and shut down the process. That's not the, with the way American way. Now, Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick also weighed on this, applauding the vote, and he called it an illegal amnesty program. We're live in Southwest Houston today. Ryan Korsgaard, KPRC, Channel 2 News. Thank you.